Okay, so the odd after dark tour actually starts with the odd at dusk, but I didn't think after the game when my broadcast is done and the arena is basically empty, we get a good enough shot of the exterior of this magnificent building. For my money, the best building in junior hockey anywhere in this country. Hands down, the best in the Ontario Hockey League. You have to think back to when this building first opened in 1950. That's what the cornerstone says. And this was the main entrance on East Avenue in Kitchener. Above these doors were the old school marquees. You know, picture the, you'd have to use that big long stick to change one letter at a time. Red and white, the background white obviously, the letters in red. Rangers versus Pete, Sunday at 2 p.m. Friday nights, Sunday afternoons, the traditional dates for hockey in this arena. So when we pick this up after the game tonight, after the broadcast, when the arena is empty and there's very few people left inside except you, me, and the ghosts, we'll start right inside these doors, which is where the box office used to be. You walk in under the marquee through these main doors and then buy your tickets at the window inside. And we'll pick up the tour there after the game tonight. Okay, so here we are inside those doors I was just outside of. It's uh, almost one o'clock in the morning. I promised this would be the tour after dark. Here's the thing. I don't know how far we're going to get and where we might not be able to go and what alarms might get set off, but I'm also gonna try to go as quick as I can. Look, this arena is massive, holds about 7,400 for a hockey game, and I love it. There's so much about it that I would love to show and talk about, but you know, you don't want to be watching this forever. So we'll go through as quickly as we can. But this right here that you're seeing, which is now concessions and the Legends Food and Taps, used to be the ticket windows. You'd come in these front doors that I just showed you, and then these would be the ticket windows, and you're inside the auditorium. It's been expanded. There have been a couple of renovations over the years, and this is where we're at now. But I kind of miss that old entrance and those ticket windows. So here we are. Get a chance. I'm gonna actually try going upstairs here to the restaurant and the suites. I don't think we're gonna find anything open, but I mean, honestly, it's like I said, yeah, we're gonna be closed up in here, but you can get a little, I'm gonna take a peek through the window here. So there's a restaurant in here that overlooks kind of the ice, but you, you would come in here pregame if you wanna do it that way. So take you back down. I'm just going to show you the, I think the most important parts, which is the arena itself, because that's really what you want to see in here. The Kitchener Memorial Auditorium is so named and with the cornerstone in 1950, uh, it was built as a memorial to those who served and then paid the ultimate price in our world wars. So you'll see on the beams here, names of previous Ranger players, Dwight Foster, Red Lawrence, Don Maloney, Joe Fortunato, Gaston Gingras, Mark Montaneri, so many more. When we get up to uh, center ice, which I think I just passed, here we go. Just take you out and show you the the bowl. I don't know who's here at this hour, but here we are. So it looks like you, me, and the cleaning staff. These blue seats behind us here, or up above, that's the latest renovation. Came about 2012 here in Kitchener. And then this is a look around the inside. Just look at the banners up there. I guess it's you, me, the cleaning staff and the ghosts inside the Kitchener Memorial Auditorium. But this just gives you a look around. If it's got a Maple Leafs Gardens look to it, it should. In fact, this arena was just used as a, a stand-in, really, for Maple Leafs Gardens, Maple Leaf Gardens, uh, in a boreal psalming biography television series that was just shot just prior to uh, Solomon's passing. Good timing on that, but it was done here in the, in the odd. So the odd could 
double as Maple Leaf Gardens. Arguably one of the best Brian Bellows to ever play here. Of course, went on to win a Stanley Cup. Don Cameron, just get a, let that sink in. 55 years of broadcasting, more than 4,000 broadcasts, and a true idol of mine. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop out here. Hopefully not set off any alarms. So we're kind of in a, there's a, a nice beer nut stand that's usually here during the games. Some sports hall of fame on the walls. I'm gonna just take you quickly down this way. I wanna get back into the guts of the arena, but one concourse is the same as the other side, so you've seen one side. I do wanna show you just a couple of things down these stairs. And this is kind of in a newer part, expanded part. There are a couple of other ice pads back here. Uh, the uh, Kiwanis, or the Kinsman is here, and the Kiwanis Arena over here. So a couple of other ice pads in this area, which is now the box office area. These doors that I'm walking towards are kind of the main doors. There's the marquee outside, the LED screens. Not like the old marquee that I showed you at the beginning of this video. Here you go, and if you can't read this, the citizens of Kitchener have built this tribute to the living memory of those who died in the cause of freedom, 1914 to 1918, 1939 to 1945. They shall grow not old as we who are left grow old. And so here's your box office now, coming in when you come into the odd. It's not quite the same. One other thing I wanted to show you quickly here, and then we'll get back to the guts of the arena. Kitchener's Pride, the famous Kraut line. Uh, Bobby Bauer, Milt Schmidt, and Woody Dumart played for the Boston Bruins. And uh, we're the first line ever to finish one, two, three in scoring. All from the city of Kitchener. And uh, we celebrate them for good reason. Okay, let's see if we can get back now into the guts here. And we'll keep downstairs, yeah. I, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of propped this door earlier so we could get back in. So now we're down at ice level. Uh, bus bay over here. I think I should be able to get through this door right now without triggering anything. So this will be the bus bay. The teams come in, Zambonis obviously. These things, these doors here, downstairs, ramps, storage, etc. When big shows are in here, etc. This would be the Zamboni entrance. As we let's get a look here out at the rink from this perspective. So again, here we are inside the bowl. And give you a look at that. We'll pop over this way. So before the most recent renovation, and it's really the last expansion slash renovation they can do here, they raised the roof, those blue sh seats I showed you before, the roof got raised and to put the extra 1,000 or so seats in. And you can no longer walk all the way around down here. You used to be able to walk around the concourse both upstairs and down. Uh, but the renovation got in the way. We'll get to that. So this is the visitor's dressing room area. I wonder if I can get in. No, no such luck tonight. But visitor's room, I'll take you all the way around the bottom here until we can't go anymore. Uh, quick look out down this tunnel. During games, referee's room is over here and we're right here now at the penalty benches. So here's the penalty boxes, timekeepers, etc. And once again, out here at the ice. So, gosh, I hope you're staying with me here. I hope you don't mind, I walk as quick as I can, but there's a lot to see here. And I wanted to bring you down around this way because down here now, Les Bradley room, a former trainer here. This used to be the media room in Kitchener. Now, as you see, it's the Rangers host and player families room, but named after Les Bradley, longtime trainer, a way back in the day, and you just get a sense for, honestly, 1950s. The team's offices actually used to be down on this level. Somewhere in here, I, I'm sorry, I can't quite remember. 
Might have been in here where the game operations is now. This is storage in this spot. But where we're at, and you can see more concessions down here, but I'm just gonna pop up these stairs. When I was a kid, I used to love it in here because again, you could get all the way around the arena from down, well, from the main, from both concourse, upstairs and in the basement. So right up here, this is where we walked in, right? This is where we started. Those are the main doors. So we're down in the basement here after I took you out to see the new box office and the kraut line. So we'll go back down these stairs into the basement. And hustle all the way around here until we can't go around anymore. And then, oh boy, you'll find out how out of shape I am. But here you go, just classic, classic arena. So I should have gone the other way. I'm sorry. I'm gonna, you know what? I can do it this way. I'm sorry about that. So this is a back door to the Rangers new dressing room. When they did the latest expansion, the dressing room cut off that access around the entire bottom of the arena. But yeah, I can get through here. So I'm gonna do it this way as we come up here. So now we're actually on the home team bench. This is the Kitchener Rangers bench. Here you are. And I'll take you so you can actually see the room just a little bit. So here we go now. This is the tunnel, High Five Alley, they call it in Kitchener. And here is just outside the Kitchener Rangers dressing room. So you can see this wall where the logo is. Used to be able to walk all the way around, down under here. But with the expansion, renovation, they built a really nice room for the home team, and that's why you can't get all the way around anymore. So, the other thing I will do now, and forgive me as I try to climb the stairs, this is the hallway down to that Zamboni entrance we were just in. I'm gonna take you up via the stairs in the arena here. And again, forgive me as I start to run out of breath, because I am old and out of shape, and this is a fair bit of work for an old guy like me. And there's one of our friendly staff taking care of things after the game is over for the night. We actually just finished a game, Rangers and Greyhounds in here tonight, and the Rangers had a pretty big win. So as I climb these stairs back up to these blue seats, as I said, that was the latest and last expansion the team can do because there's no more room in here to build but the extra seats were added and so too was this concourse so you'll see now much wider up here there are windows off to my left which provide a lot of light when it's not one o'clock in the morning and i love this little corner over here i'll just take you over to I mean, I, honestly, I feel like I've gone on too long already. I could spend forever in here, but this is a great spot for scouts to bird dog. You'll often find them in this corner. So I wonder if I'm gonna try it. I don't know what's gonna be open on the next levels, but I'm gonna try to do it on the elevator. Okay, so forgive, ah, it might take too long. But there's a, a floor above this that I want to get you to so you can at least see the media area. I'm worried if I take the stairs, I'm gonna run into locked doors when I get up there. And if I run into locked doors, I ain't getting nowhere in a hurry, am I? Let me just try this and see. Okay, this door is open. So, if I get lucky, I'm gonna take you up this way and show you the media level where we spend all kinds of time before the game. 
I call it the legends level. Is this open? Ah, curses. Okay, I'm gonna try one more because the next floor will be our media level. The question is, will this door be open? I hope it will be. Here's the media level. Perfect. So, I'm gonna hail the elevator now and hope I can sneak you down there when we're done here. But here's, there's actually some seats up here, accessible seats, etc. And if this door is open, lucky night for us. Yes. Okay, so press row. Rangers, staff, scratches, injuries right here. Come down this hallway and we've got the Rogers television broadcast booth here. Open, nice, give you a little sense from inside. Cameras, talent, backdrop, view. Okay, quickly down. I know I left my radio booth open tonight because I was gonna do this. Our gear gets set up on this little table and this is where I stand and get to call the game from. So there's my view. Again, just give you a sense of that. Now, let's go back and see. Oh, and then over here, we've got visiting staff, video, and another front row for a bunch of media in here. And there's their look at the ice. All right, I'm, I'm gonna finish this quick. There's only one more spot I wanna try to show you, if you're still with me, and if you are, thank you for that. But there's just so much so much in this building. Let's see if we can come out this door and get lucky with the elevator. See if we could have got down. You see down here where that opening is? I don't know if you can pick up the tables and chairs down there, but that's an area I could probably sneak over on foot. You want me to do it? I'm gonna do it. So they will often have alumni events just at least get over here a little bit closer. So back in the day, this was all closed off. Well, you could actually walk in behind. Where that, so here's the restaurant from here. You know what? I'm gonna sneak you over. Gosh, stay with me, stay with me. So when I was a kid, this was the way, this was the top of the seats, okay? And you'd come over here like this and you could walk across. Now they've got a restaurant in here, but this area that we're in Nice restaurants, some tabletops. They sometimes use it for alumni events. And then you'll see we get cut off here. So it used to be, and this is the restaurant. I kind of poked in the door from the other side, but you can see, well, you can't really see much at all, but there are some seats right at the front here that you can look out over the ice and be at these tables right here, looking at the game, something like this. We used to be able to walk all the way out along the top up here above the seats in Kitchener. But then times change. You need more private suites, which I can't get you to tonight. You need more amenities, which fans demand in the modern age. And here we are. So time marches on, as do I, up these stairs again. Oh, my goodness. Okay, stay with me. I just want to take you down to the third level if I can make it happen with this elevator. Hopefully, since I summoned it before, it's right up here at the fourth floor. Fingers crossed. Oh, baby. Okay. So this, that Legends level I told you about, uh, it's locked off. Okay. So... I'm afraid, you know what? I'll do that on another video someday, pre-game, instead of one o'clock in the morning. I'll take you through and show you our sort of access behind the scenes before the game. It's a pretty nice legends level. The media room is awesome. So I'll do a separate Memorial Auditorium media room video. But this is your arena tour of the Kitchener Memorial Auditorium. 
After Dark. Thanks for sticking with me. Good night. <laughs>